We're doing it. We're doing it. Last time, I cried. <laughs> Last time, Sheet came in and hit us with some some heavy, heavy stuff. Uh, whew, still feeling that. Okay. Um, we came here and we saw that Saria wasn't here. <laughs> And the fact that they had Link walk up and look down at the stump. I've never seen somebody look down at a tree stump and be so... So hurt. <laughs> now it's time to go get her. Okay. First dungeon as an adult. Let's do it. Forest Temple music is so good. Not to mention, I'm pretty sure the place is actually like a... It looks more like a mansion, too. Navi has to say, Wolfos, draw it close to you and watch its movement carefully. Attack when it drops its guard. the moment you walk into this place, well, the moment you see the environment around it, and then you walk into the place for the first time, it's so... <laughs> the vibe is immediately different than anything you've done in the game so far. All the other dungeons, they're pretty bleak, they're pretty airy. But this, this one is like otherworldly. So yeah, that's the first gold skull shiller, which is number, should be number 48. Yes, okay. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down to see, okay, 49 is up ahead. The dungeons are also gonna, I think they've become a lot more extensive now too. I don't remember. I don't remember the adult dungeons hardly at all. Um, the kid ones are pretty quick. I think Dodongo's Cavern is the longest one, but like the Great Deku Tree is super early. It's it's basically part of the tutorial, um, or like it's there to test your knowledge after you do the tutorial. Man, I love the theming in this place though. I love how it's like you're going. It, it's it's a it's a mansion basically deep in the woods it's like less of a temple more of a mansion i think it's really interesting or maybe more like a temple like more like a temple um like a temple like a religious temple it feels like more so than a um the sort of mystic mysticism ones, mysticism based ones they have. More like uh, maybe maybe this feels more like um, 
like a uh, like a like a Catholic kind of a deal than the fantasy stuff we're usually dealing with. So now our quest begins. Uh, yeah, I guess they have you chasing down Poe's in this one, which makes sense. Salia said that the spirits of the Force were asking for her help, so it would make sense. Can we even talk to her in here? Listen. No, sister. So, so. Hmm. I thought maybe she would. She would. She would like be able to feel it closer. Maybe not. ahead not to see answers just trying to see <clears throat> be mindful of uh, when the next sculpture is gonna be oh 50 right there okay so it's not gonna be up for a little while so move on now. I think the only way we can go is straight ahead. You know, I mean like it's it's eerie for sure, but it it kind of feels peaceful, you know? Bubbles? These are some classic enemies. It, it's super cool too, because a lot of the enemies that you fight face in here are, feel very one for one how they kind of were visually represented in um, in the very first Zelda game. Like, there are bubbles, and there are keys, and there are, um... I think the P-hats are really interesting. They don't... I really like how the P-hats were made to be in this game. There are arrows painted on the floor. Uh, I... Thanks, Navi. I... Kinda got that. Um... But... <laughs> I guess I appreciate it, though. <laughs> I see. I see what I'm doing. I see what I'm about. I feel like this is one of the few dungeons in this game that feels like a, um, like a tangible place, like a place that has a purpose. There's some like weird archaeology and stuff like that, but. My dome.
Stouted that. I don't even know if this is the best first place to be, but I mean, that's sort of the thing about the dungeons. You kind of just go. I would say top 10 list of Zelda dungeons. I don't know how any, I don't know if any of the ones in this game would place up there. But mainly that's just because, like, they're extremely traditional, you know? Uh, I talked about this a while back, but I think the game that has the best ones, even though it, like, it doesn't rank... It doesn't necessarily rank super high compared to the rest of the games just in general. I think the game that has the strongest dungeons is uh Twilight Princess. We'll get to we'll get to that though. Um not to say this game I think I think this game is good is actually the dungeons are good for being extremely traditional because this was like the first outing, right? This was the first time they were like, okay, 3D Zelda game, what what are dungeons? We can do more we hit we have like more items now. We can do different things with the environments now that they're 3D. We have more space to work with. You have to you have to survey a lot more, obviously, because like now things can be above you, below you, all around you. There's a lot of verticality they can do now in these games. <clears throat> so I think making them like very traditional. I think making them very traditional temples and stuff um, sort of works given the tone of this game as well. I hope all the blocks I pushed around in there stay the same. <laughs> but I don't got no slingshot anymore. Well, we have a slingshot, but for some reason, grown-up Link is like, oh no, I'm too good for the slingshot. Oh, first, uh, first, like, sword to sword fight. Well, there was the Lizalfos, I guess. That's true. Look close to you and watch this movement carefully. Attack it when it's pushed off its guard. Oh my gosh, he does, they do jumping attacks? Oh, I think it's snipe that guy. Got him against a wall. Nice. I like how they specify. You can use it, but only in this dungeon. They're like, don't get any ideas. All right, man, don't. Don't go running around into all the dungeons with 50 keys, thinking that you need them. Oh. 
Oh no, I'm getting comboed. Oh, it's not doing damage. But I am getting comboed. <laughs> that was ridiculous. How silly. about freaking this room. Listen. Yeah, this is the coolest dungeon in the game. I think it is. I, th I think this is actually just... The corridor is all twisted! <laughs> yeah, Navi, I... Oh, man. It's so cool. A freaking Super Mario Galaxy, eat your heart out. <laughs> it's so good. Watch for the shadows of monsters that hang from the ceiling. Yes, ma'am. Oh. Oh, yeah, everything's all... Ooh, that's so weird. It's so weird. It's so cool, though. She mentioned be careful of the enemies who hang on the ceiling, but... Oh. Oh, nope. I forgot about freaking Floor Masters. Oh my gosh. Oh, that scared- that just scared the heck out of me. I forgot- Oh, it's- Ocarina of Time hits different, man! Oh, big money though. Is that it? Please be it. I don't- please, I don't- I don't want th that to happen anymore. I forgot about freaking Floor Masters. Oh my gosh. They're so scary. Hmm. chest here. No, yeah, no, no, Navi, I, I get that. I, I know. I don't want, I don't want to refer to the guide. Oh, wall master. Maxed out on money, heck yeah. Have, oh man, we don't have the compass or yeah, we don't have a compass yet either. I need the room to spin around, but how do I do that? I may cut to when I've figured this out if I figure this out. <laughs> You know what? Probably need to be able to hit this eye. 
But I don't have anything to hit the eye. Hmm? Hmm. I need the bow. That's what I need. Oh. I'll hold the phone. I think I've figured something out. Hmm, that doesn't seem legitimate, like a legitimate way to do this, but well, we'll see. Oh. Well, this is a thing. Note to self, be uh, maybe like a touch more observant. <laughs> Gosh. Oh, yeah. This <laughs> Yeah, see, on the guide, I was like, oh, he's going to this whole outside area. He's going the absolute wrong direction. Um, I know there is a gold sculpture around here. No. No. Stay up him, Link. Stay up him until he dies. Cool. Yeah, there's a gold sculpture somewhere around here. But now we can do all this stuff at least. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we are legitimately outside. Wow, look at this place. This place is crazy. It's like a castle. Oh, it's kind of like a castle growing out in the middle of the woods. That's cool. Always lucky, never punished. <laughs> um. Hmm. I want to get. I can, uh, supposedly I can get this now, though, I think. Yeah, one moment, I'm gonna see. False. False. Wrong. Dumb. Dumb boy. That's me. I'm the dumb boy. Dumb boy, and I always was.
Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that's gonna help out a lot, at least. I'll at least have a, uh... Some semblance. I still have a compass, but that's fine. Who needs a compass? Who needs a map? I do. I, I, I need a map. Oh, whoops. Wrong way. Oh, yeah, we actually have, have hookshot points. Yeah, I was actually confused. I was like, I could have swore there were points you could hookshot to. <laughs> Cannot for the life of me remember where. Oh, there's the gold sculpture. I thought we were in the other room. But we are in fact not. <coughs> All right, this was that. Yeah, there are two different rooms with two different wells. There we go. Oh. For sway, my friend. There we go. <laughs> well, that's better than nothing. There we go. Okay, gonna scroll to where the next one is. That was number... 50. Okay. Right? Yeah. Oh, wow. Well. Yeah, that room with the uh, floor master? Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Let's never do that again. That room with the floor master was, uh. I was supposed to be there. Oh no! Oh no! Do I gotta go all the way back now? Aw oh, man. Come on. <laughs> That's silly. Okay. I did not know. something else to do in that other room I had I think wait that's the that's the well that depleted but hold on was it not the well in the other room that depleted or did they all deplete hmm let's see What did it please? Unless, hold on, wait, do the wells just connect? Is that what- is that what I'm about to learn? Oh, 
<laughs> okay. Well. I know what this is for, at least. Very roundabout way to get it, but... Oh, and then this is the... Okay. Okay, so I could have... Could have gone down here. I just didn't know. Was not sure. Got some freaking Dark Souls dodging right there. Damn. Skin of my teeth. Uh, I think I do it this way. I think. Right? Boy, I had my shield up. Oh my gosh, this guy's. I get to bump into you so much. Oh. Well, that's not bad. Nobody said I was good at these games. I've just played them a couple times. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! When I get to Majora's Mask, <laughs> gonna be totaled. I wonder if the guy who made this. Uh, Screw you, man. I wonder if the guy who made this guide made. Uh, guides for all the Zelda games, because this one's very good. It's got pictures, um, it's got, like, text boxes to separate, let you know, like, different items, like, the gold sculptures have, like, a tan box, and <clears throat> songs have gray boxes to let you know, like, important things, so I can skip over all the stuff I don't want, uh, to be spoiled to, all the normal plain text, so I can still figure out everything on my own. I'll just know that, like, oh, hey, up ahead, there's a gold sculptula. Or an item of some kind. Sometimes I think about other legacy things I could do. A 3D Mario legacy would be super easy. Um, and super fun. Because those games are great. Um... Oh, I think we're coming up to uh, our first Poe. <laughs> sounds like sounds like a boo. Speaking of Mario, over the center. Can I walk over the center? Attacks on these guys do a little bit of damage. Oh, how did he broke through my freaking guard? Well, the other guy's body isn't dead yet. 
Oh, I have to kill them at the same time. I bet the other guy could have respawned. Oof, that's rough. Whew, ouch. Hurt a little bit. But we do have a lot of health, so... Nice. Come on, give me what I want. Nice, fairy bow. Like how everything's a fairy something. I guess, does that mean like all the, all the weapons and stuff are made by fairies? I guess that would make sense. Take it out and hold it. Sweet. Sorry, Slingshot. Bo's my new best friend. Ugh. I got something in my eye. Ow, crud. Cry, my I hate it when this happens. Okay. You know what? One sec. Pause. Hallelujah. Jeez. <laughs> Sometimes you rub your eye and then it just gets worse. I miss and moist all my arrows. I vanquish these spirits or I don't you seemed to oh maybe I just need to use arrows that makes sense it is the it is the dungeon item Beth, one of the Poe sisters. Aim for her when she appears. I see. How many hours does it take, though? Dang. That took a lot of... That took a lot of arrows, nothing. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, well, I got all of them back. All right. Uh, compass. A single heart. No compass. Okay. Nice one. At least now I can see where I'm going. Okay, well, first things first, let's go back. Now that we can 
confront the pose. Have I lost my mind? Oh, it's going back going need to going back going this way. Yeah. I have I have lost my mind. Joel. I get a uh, sneak attack bonus and <laughs> multiply it on my damage. It's not the most uh, exciting <laughs> combat so far. Well, that's going to be a key. Wall master. <laughs> oh, I bet only hearts drop in these ones. This isn't fun. Or I have too much of everything to have anything drop. <laughs> Oh, not here too. Okay, let's just deal with him. Oi. if you're on fire or not. Kill you any day of the week, man. Oh, I need a arrow again. Oh, 
Oh, there's a, a hole up there. Oh, I can shoot eyes now. So if there are any eyes. Oh, you check. We have a map now that we can consult. <coughs> yeah, obviously the elevator in the center is going to take us down. I think we're almost. I believe we're almost through. Hmm. Maybe we need to go back now. Oh wait, yeah, 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 yeah. I know what to do. Yeah, like, like, like I just said, we can shoot the eyes now, which means we have to go back before we go forward. Quite a decent ways back too. It's interesting how much backtrack. Well, backtracking. I mean, everything's... They put you pretty close to where you need to backtrack to. It is still backtracking, but... You know, you... Once you get... It's like, a uh, You're putting a puzzle together, right? And then, like, every single time... There we go. Every single time... You... Find where a piece goes, it gets a little bit easier. Nice. Oh. That was a quick flip of the room, too. It's kind of impressive. Can't get me, wall master. I'm the chest man. Is this just going to be a key? Oh, it's the boss key. <laughs> Screw you. Demon? Oh, and I just fell through, but it was, it was right side up? What the crap? Okay, I got the boss key. It's never good to go to the boss key room and uh, not know what the heck you're doing. Okay, whatever we do, let's not fall off. <laughs> but they're gonna they're gonna test me right now and see if I can do this without falling off, which I totally can. There we go. Now, is that the last one? That might be the last one. Let's see, because that's, that's 51. Now, this person gets the compass later than I did. Weird. Oh, they went back and got the sculpture immediately. Okay, there's gonna be, okay, 52 is going to be way, way 
later, right before the boss, so. Until then, we are good. Which means I can... I can do whatever I want. I'm... You're not the boss of me. <laughs> I make my own decisions. These are floor masters because they multiply after. Ugh. <clears throat> Yucky. Oh, I should have used Pharaoh's Wind at the beginning so I could always I could just teleport back to the main room. Small key. Where does small key go? What will you for small key? I oh oh it was way back where I was. Now I remember. Ow. I'm never ready for the big for the quick pokes. Um, pretty sure I can't. Yeah, no, I'm not getting out of here. Oh, it's also I don't like looking in to the freaking abyss. Okay. You know, a shortcut is a shortcut for a reason. <laughs> Deku nuts? What? Would Deku nuts be helpful? I mean, yeah, Deku nuts would be helpful. I have 40 of them. Even if they're not helpful, might as well just toss one every so often. <laughs> just for the heck of it. Why not? Need to see. Hmm. I don't think I need to go back up. I think I can just go out into the main room. They make the the forest temples like really eerie a lot in these games. Kind of across the board. Something about being in the deepest part of the forest, I think. Bios and the torches are gone. Seems like the ghost took them away. I'm gonna have to get good at aiming without uh being locked on. You know there's a minigame. Oh. It just took me here. Is that useful? Oh, uh, yes. Relatively? Oh, no way. Pierre? Oh, hello, my scarecrow friend. Nope, I need the hookshot. Well, Deku Nuts, you were short lived. <laughs> I didn't use a single one of you.
Okay, there must be something else you're looking at. Over there. What would be the point of being down here, though? <laughs> what actually would the point of being down here be? How odd. wants to so badly aim up there, but she just can't. It's okay, Navi. I love you anyways. Okay, so I need to go back up, which means... I gotta go all the way back around, I guess. Because I did want to be in this room, I guess. Made a shortcut to the other one, though, which is good. There was another Ida hit, too, I'm pretty sure. This is a chest here, too. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Arrows! Well, that's not... not useful. I mean... I didn't need arrows. can't unhit this eyeball, too. Hmm. Oh, maybe I needed to get back through and around because of the well. Maybe, oh, maybe the well's the only way to get back in now. Takes me back to here. Right. My my brain. I'm like on the I'm on the cusp. I'm on the verge.
how did I get... I don't remember how I got... Higher on the other floor, you know? My memory is hazy. Okay, I think I'm going to cut to when I figure something out. Oh, <laughs> if I figure something out. And I'll see you then. <gasps> I didn't know. I didn't know you could reset it. I, it, it was closed. The eye was closed. Why would I think? I guess, okay, I bet gold ones stick. Silver ones you can, oh, switches you can flip back and forth. No, Navi, I already opened that. Need to get the heck out of here. Okay, here we go. See, no, this is what I want. I was just trying to figure out how to get back to here without having that room twisted, but you can just twist the room back up. Silly me. Okay. What a what a goober I am! What a what a fool! What a what an absolute nincompoop! What a big dumb idiot I am! No. Uh. Well, not no. Well, like yes, but it's not that much. It's not that big of a problem. Mainly is the is the thing. Don't you ever cross me, hand. You're just like your father. Oh, 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 oh. Nice. Oh! <laughs> Great. I don't know why I chose to wait that long, but okay, I'm already seeing what we're doing here. Nice. And then it's gonna twist it. Interesting, cool. Is that the only thing in this room? Man, I guess so. paintings? Oh, we're back here. How did we get back here if the room was twisted? Oh, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Oh. Okay. I just saw, like, 
clean tile checkerboard and the ceiling's falling down. during the animation, what the heck? Hey, yay. Hey. hey, screw you, bud. What the, oh, it's a puzzle. Oh my gosh, what? I think I did it. They're throwing a lot of weird ideas at me all of a sudden. <laughs> oh, is it was that was that the bottom of it? I'm definitely not gonna do it now. Oh no, I goofed it. Oh, oh okay. Oh, it just rearranged itself. Oh, this is so much easier. Did it give me more time? No, they wouldn't put, like, hand-holdy stuff in these older games, right? You better not have given me more time. Unless it's like, hey, the more times you fail, like, or if you fail too many times, we kill you. And delete your save file, so here's one more chance. <laughs> Oh, one of them's like a dud. Oh, which one are you, I wonder? Amy. <laughs> oh, just Amy? That felt less ghostly than the other ones. Hey, if you if you're a, if you're a ghost out there and your name's Amy. Like, no hard feelings, you know? I'm, I'm sure anybody can be a ghost. Just... With all the other names in this game, Amy feels very normal. Be purged, Amy. If we can do it here in the center. Lucky. 
Oh, one of them does like a spin? Maybe not every time. <laughs> she's just, she's really, yeah, uh, she's really feeling herself. What's your name? Meg. If she's placed into multiple images, you need to figure out which one is the real one. Is it this one? It is, Navi. Because she is a, uh, she's not very bright. Gave himself up every single time. Oh. Okay. I get it. Watch this. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. Um. Now, the last skull chiller in this place is gonna be in here. It's gonna be number 52. It's probably literally like I'm just going to like open. I'm gonna spin it like one or two more times. I'm gonna open up uh, a hall that has it. Oh, I can hear it. Yeah. It's gonna be right here. You return, you. Once you let go of the C stick, you're still gonna freaking shoot the arrow. Man, when I played this game the first time, everything really scared the heck out of me. <laughs> Gosh. I just think it's really unnerving. <laughs> Over here, a button. Hmm. Okay. I might be going the long way around. I'm not sure. We'll see. Thank <laughs> you. 
what this music kind of reminds me of? It reminds me of um, the uh, air temple, or the the, the sort of the, the temple in the sky from uh, Twilight Princess. As it it's the song really has that sort of like unsettling, wacky air to it. So I'm gonna unlock this one. Oh, okay, I see. If I didn't push it again, I'd be freaking spinning this thing around for hours. Okay, uh, I got 52 sculptures. Yes. Let's save. See what's causing all this. And save Saria. This feels very Luigi's Mansion. It's freaking horrible. Well, there's a Triforce on the ground. But we can't use it. the freaking freak out. You think you're like, oh my gosh, am I gonna fight Ganondorf right here and now? Boy needs some milk. Okay, I think we have to shoot him when the portal's opening up. Yeah, okay. Seems like he's lit or in the real world. Ow. Oh, is this freaking dead man's volley?
Oh, you gotta hit it way early. Okay, I understand. Why is it going? I don't know what's making it go... Go AWOL. Oh, man, Dead Man's Folly always... It's not, it's not that difficult, it's just always get it. I always overthink it. Wow, you got you gotta do it for a long time in this one. For being like not actually Ganondorf. Bad angle. <laughs> Whoa, that one slowed down. What was it doing? Oh, then he threw a fastball at me. Hey kid, you did quite well. Looks like you may be gaining some slight skill. But you have defeated only my phantom. When you fight the real me, it won't be so easy. Well that was freaking haunting. <laughs> What a worthless ghost that was. I will banish it to the realm between dimensions, or the gap between dimensions? He's talking about Limbo? Did he just Limbo that guy? Climbing. Oh gosh, I just thought of like, wait, where's Saria? <laughs> I got a little misty eye, even though I know, I know, like, what happens. I've played this before. I just, I don't know, like, it just hit me. I'm like, well, we went through that nightmare, but where's our friend? Mom? <laughs> Mom, is that you? Thank you. Because of you, I could awaken as a sage. I'm Saria, the sage of the Forest Temple. Oh, let's not be so formal, though. Come on. I always believed that you would come. Because I know you. No. You don't have to explain it to me. Huh? No, you don't have to explain it to me? What? I knew that you would come. I always knew that you would come for me. I always believed in you. No, you don't have to explain it to me. Because it is destiny that you and I can't live in the same world. I'll stay here as the forest sage and help you. Now please, take this medallion.
That's heartbreaking. Saria will always be your friend. Who said that? The Deku Tree. Uh, hi there. I'm the Deku Tree Sprout. Oh, he's, he's, got, he's smoking a little leaf. He's got a little doobie coming out of his mouth. Because you and Saria broke the curse on the Forest Temple, I can grow and flourish. Thanks a lot. <laughs> sure thing, bud. How are you going to hit me with this? After that heartbreaking, we'll get we'll get we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Hey, have you seen your old friends? None of them recognized you with that grown-up body, did they? That's well, because the Kiri never grow up. Even after seven years, they're still kids. You must be wondering why only you have grown up. Oh, the, oh my gosh! I've got we actually get some like a plot reveal here. Well, as you might have already guessed, you're not a Kakiri. You're actually a alien. I'm happy to finally reveal this secret to you. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a helian mother and a baby boy entered the forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. The Deku Tree could sense that this was a child of destiny, whose fate would affect the entire world. So he took him into the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a, as a Kokiri, and now, finally, the day of destiny has come. As if feeling like <laughs> you, you were an other wasn't enough, you're literally not one of these people. <laughs> Also, con confirmation that Link's, as far as like biological family go, gone. Potentially all gone, because there was a war. And that war, they don't get into it too, too much. Um, but I, I was just reading the, my uh, Zelda Historia, my, my copy of the Zelda Historia today. Um, and it said that the King of Hyrule won the war and then united uh, all people under the banner of Hyrule. But it but it only mentioned the like the Goans and the Zoras and the Helians. It didn't mention the Gerudo. So I'm not quite sure what happened on that end. <laughs> You're a Helian. You were always bound to leave this forest. And now. You have learned your own destiny. So you know what you must do. That's right. You must save the land of Hyrule. Now, Link. Break the curses on all the temples. And return peace to Hyrule. <sighs> no pressure. <laughs> Hi there. I'm the Deku Tree Spout. No, I, I know, man. We just... Because you and Saria broke the curse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I yeah, I know. Thanks a lot. Is that, is that all you got? You're a Helian, you're always bound to leave this forest. And now you have learned your own destiny. Is that, is that all we got? Yeah, okay. All right.
We're gonna talk about that scene in a, scene in a sec, but I'm wondering something. I'd like to. At first, I didn't want to become the Sage of the Forest. But I'm glad now. Because I'm helping you to save Hyrule, Link. Yes, I am. Well, that's great. Gosh, I don't know, because the game bounces back to a chipper tone, you know, but I... Oh, everybody's out now. A cloud over Death Mountain. Something strange about it. Oh gosh, we gotta go find Darunia. <sighs> and he's probably in trouble. Because everybody's gonna be in trouble. <sighs> everybody's out again, though. That's nice. I feel like I've known you, uh, known you for a long time, mister. Um... That's more likely than you think. Oh, hey, let's go pick up some... Really are a, uh... Really are out there fighting monsters now, aren't we? Thank you, freaking... Thank you, Malin, for this wonderful gift. Thank you, cow. Yeah, I'm very curious what everybody has to say now. Oh, especially Mido. I still really think you look like somebody I've seen before, mister. Uh, you know, who's to say? <laughs> Give me some fancy fencing. All I've ever no done is tap B to <laughs> all my life. Well, hey, it's not a terrible technique. Now that the Deku Tree Sprout is growing in the Great Deku Tree's meadow, forest has returned to normal. Well, that's good. Link, I wonder if he will come back. Oh. I, I think that that makes a lot of sense now, why they only think you look like somebody they know. Because they all think you're Kokiri, and when you are about to leave, they're all like, you're gonna leave, but wait, we can't leave the forest, we'll die if we leave the forest. So they don't, they just don't even consider that as a possibility. You're such a big, strong guy. I really want to be like you someday, even though I'll always be small. <laughs> They must have got caught word of, uh... Well, Mido probably... Uh, you know what? That would make sense. Mido probably told them, and then... And here we are. Oh, she's up in the usual spot. Have you got one, mister? Do they retain? They're like... Do they, 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 I guess they never mentally grow up either. I'm sure Link will return someday. Oh my gosh, why, I feel, why do I feel so heartbroken about this? I mean, everything's better now, we get the Deku Sprouts up and... I wonder if Saria will come back. She's here, you know? In a way. Even if you can't see her. This is Saria's house, right? Um, Mido's house. Hey! 
this Minos house? Yeah, of course. Oh. Is Mido over by the entrance of the Deku Tree now? Huh. Where haven't I checked? Well, I mean, maybe he's still in the woods. I'd like to be able to talk to Mido. Go check the woods. We'll see if Skull Kid's there. We'll check on the other guy too. He seemed maybe not well. Oh. Oh, he's sleeping. Wait, we have a chicken. Hold on. <laughs> I. It just occurred to me. Hey, man. Um... Really? I really thought that would've worked. Skull Kid? he's not there. Well, guess there's no time to wait any longer. This would be a good place to discuss this. I think I think the the trap. I mean, it's. I feel like the tragedy really starts to from the moment from the scene before you enter, where she talks about time, to you finally catching up to Saria. The scene with Saria is so short. You think it's going to be this amazing reunion, but it feels very, um, it's very short, it's very to the point, and it's it's very, um, down to, to business, but I, I feel like <clears throat> it's pretty evident. I mean, sure, it's probably realistically, realistically, it's because they... <laughs> You know, don't want to kill you with, with too much dialogue. You know, obviously, but um, I think it still works because of what what she does say. <clears throat> and it's that she starts by saying, "I always believed you would come. I knew you would come for me." 
but then immediately after says, but I know we could never be part of the same world. And she says, I wasn't at first, you know, at first I didn't want to become the forest sage. <laughs> um, which kind of echoes what I, what I was saying before about how like, we're, we're past, we're not operating under people having choices in this. There's simply, everybody's simply duty bound because of who they are, right? Um, you can't stop time. Time is moving forward and you can't stop what it, the changes that are going to happen along the way. One of them is Link is a hero and he has to be. And a lot of the people that we know and some that we don't yet um, are going to become sages and there's no choice. That they also have to be. Um, but... Her saying... We could never be part of the same world. Um... And then following that up by saying, you know, I wasn't... I didn't want to be a forest sage at first. But then... But now I get to help you. I get to help you save everything, you know. Basically being like, now you don't have to do this alone. Um, but the thing is, she doesn't get to be in the forest with everybody. With all of her friends that she's known forever. She doesn't get to see the, um... The Deku Sprout grow. Um, because ultimately, when you're a sage, they exist in the realm of light now. The, sa the sages. They don't go back. Which also means we don't get to see her again either. So even though she's with us and we can talk to her if we want to, <clears throat> she's not going to be here in front of us anymore. And you know, and I think standing in front of her, <clears throat> and she says, no, you don't have to explain it because you're standing in front of her a grown man and she is exactly the same as the day you left the forest right and she's like no you don't you don't have to explain it she's like we can never be part of the same world i know that um it's so tragic and there's a line here that that's in, in the guide it makes a note the kakiri make insinuations like you both had feelings for each other and bravely accept her fate as a sage Unable to spend any more time in Hyrule with you. And I think that's sort of the thing, right? I feel like she comes to this conclusion that like, well, we just can't be together, right? Like, we, that's not in the cards, and it never was. <laughs> She's like, so I'm going to do what I can do now. Um... I think the Kakiri are kind of this, especially as they function in this story, they're kind of a beautiful thing because what, what Sheik says before you enter the, the temple, Sheik says, the only thing that doesn't change, the only thing time doesn't change is a memory of younger days and what what more what a what could be a more beautiful physical representation of that than your childhood home being filled with people who you knew and grew up with and were friends with and played with and fought with and loved who never grow even a day older than the last time you saw them. They'll never grow old. Time doesn't change memories of younger days. 
I think that's... That's beautiful. That's a really beautiful thing. I never thought about that till just now. It's weird. Time to get personal. Too personal, maybe, but... It's easy to do that when you're talking to the void. <laughs> um... It made me think when Saria said we can never be part of the same world. Last episode, before we entered the Forest Temple, um, I mentioned that I've been thinking late at night for like the past couple weeks. Just, just different people I knew. There was one in particular Sometimes she just pops in my head for no reason, and so sometimes I'll see somebody, I'll be watching something, I see somebody who kind of looks like her, and then she pops, you know, that seals the deal. Um, but we had become, we had really come to terms with each other and like solidified our friendship really well right before I left college. Uh, and we were talking for a long time, and it seemed good. It didn't, I didn't, you know, I wasn't forcing conversation. At least I don't feel like I was, you know. You never know, you know. I can only talk from my perspective, but, like, I, it was easy to hold the conversation. I wasn't, you know, I broke the... <clears throat> I had, I had, a, I had for a long time, you know, I, I had for a long time after high school broke the, uh, sort of tendency I had to feel like I needed to keep a conversation going or force a conversation to get a response. You know, it's, it's like a little bit of anxiety, you know, you send out a text and you don't hear anything for a while, and so you feel like, oh, maybe I need to send out more texts. Um, normal, normal teenager mindset garbage but you know I had gotten better than that I slipped up maybe here or there I got paranoid about something towards the end of college but I was also you know about to end college and was like hey what if people don't talk to me anymore what if what if I just what if these people just disappear what if she just disappears um but we had a long talk and She said, you really have just been my friend, and I appreciate that, and I'm sorry for ever doubting that, and I'm like, hey, <laughs> it's alright, I, under I understand, you know, not from, I can, I can understand and I empathize with the plight of girls trying to be friends with guys, you know, that's not easy, it's not easy to read people. I get that. Um, so, and you know, for the first time, I was like, I was understood that. For the first time, it was like, you know, do I have feelings for this girl? Sure, but, but we're friends, and that's what we're gonna be, and that's fine. And in my mind, I was like, and that's always, that's always fine. That's always, it always was fine. Um. And then, we talked for like, almost a year after college, I feel like, almost a year. Uh, and then, you know, I hadn't heard back from her in like a week. Shot her a message just to see what's up. Well, I hadn't spoken to her in a week and I shot her a message. Um, couple weeks went by, I was like, okay. Shadow another message. Month went by, month and a half. Holidays came up. I was like, "Hey, you know, happy, uh, happy holiday." And I haven't heard from her since. It's been, it's been like maybe three years now, I think. Just about. Um, 
Never found out why. Never heard anything back from her or anybody else about it. This made me think of that. Of why I still think about that sometimes. And yeah, I think it's... We... It took so long for us to get to being good friends. That I think... I think deep down... It's something I didn't want to accept, but I, I think deep down... We just probably weren't meant to be, you know? In Saria's line, she says, I know we could never be part of the same world. We can never be together in the same world. That seems, you know, kind of dramatic compared to my situation, for my situation, but I think what I need to accept, and for the most part I have, but I, I think what I'm still trying to, needing to accept is that, you know, it probably just was never meant, and it was nothing that I did. It doesn't have to be anything that I did, or anything that she did even. I think she had such a resistance. She displayed such a resistance to being close to other people that I think, I think what happened is what, what always happened. One day she decided, no, too close. <laughs> And then just, uh, never got back to me. And I'll probably never hear from her again. But, that's okay. Because time moves on. And we move on with it. But time doesn't change memories of younger days. Goodbye, Saria. Oh, I see. Saria won't ever come back. But I made a promise to Saria. If Link came back, I would be sure to tell him that Saria had been waiting for him. Because Saria really liked... Hey, you. If you see him somewhere, please let him know. And also, I'm sorry for being mean to him. Tell him that too. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I've been on like on the verge of tears since we finished the dungeon. Oh. I'll make sure he knows, Mido. Don't worry about that. 